the team uh, going into playoffs, about the semifinals, we really, really came together as a team, started meshing in the dressing room and carried on to the ice. And I think that's uh, the biggest factor in our success is everybody bought into the game plan. Um, everybody's positive in the room, we're having a good time, and I think that's why we're playing so well. Just using that skill that people don't think we have, you know, surprise them and you know, just get up on them while they're on their heels a little bit and then just jump on them. Tonight at the Jack Berger Arena, the Empire B-League champion Port Hope Panthers, after winning the coin toss for home ice advantage, will host the Midwestern Junior C champion Air Centennials to begin the battle for the Schmaltz Cup. And it's intercepted and Clipper feeds it ahead. Here's a break coming in for Air. Shot on that scores! Quinn Diamond strikes first for the Air Centennials, a minute 14 in. Now Lagois, now to center for Lowry with some speed. Here comes Lowry, he scores! And this game is tied. Cameron Lowry with the tying goal on the setup from the Port Hope captain, Dan Lagois. Into the middle for Pettit. He throws it in front of the net and Smith was knocked down. Back in behind, there's a centering pass, they score! The Centennials reclaim the lead. It's Riley Clipper who bangs it in. And it's 2-1 for Air. And McLean again from the left point. Sends it across, there's a shot that goes high over top of the net from Cummings. Comes back to McLean, another shot tipped, they score again! And it might have been Clipper again. And it is 3-1 for the Air Centennials. And Clipper is going to go gather the puck in. He's got three points already in the game. There's a chance in front, a long shot stop. Now Lawrence again in front of the net. Foley with a save. Backhand score. McGuire bangs it home. And the Port Hope Panthers are back within a goal. It's 3-2. to two. Third line for the Panthers. Came up with a goal earlier on. Here comes Centennials back in. Dumped in by Quinn Diamond. Goaltender Young almost gave it away, might have. There's a shot, rebound, they score! Centennials have made it a two goal lead. Win Diamond with his second goal of the game. Panthers win the face off on the power play. Foley down low for Lawrence, but hit him in the skate with the pass. Lawrence, nice job to come up with it. In front, they score! It is Mike Smith who knocks it in, and this is a one goal game. And Pettit very calmly just takes it out of harm's way and brings it to center ice. Still has it. Pettit busting his way in. In front, they score. What a goal. What a move by Pettit. Pass to center finds Masterson. He's been excellent for the Centennials tonight. Across the blue line, he's got some pace. In he goes, tries to wrap it around, and he does. He scores. Masterson banks it off the back of the goaltender, and the Centennials have got a three-goal lead. And the Air Centennials come out on top. They win game one of the Ontario Junior C Championships, the battle for the Smaltz Cup. I think the Centennials are going to win and they're going to kick butt. Who's your favorite player? Jake Wibbs. Jake Wibbs? Everyone's like that. He works hard and he tries his best every game. Vautour down the left wing, the turnaround, the shot on the backhand, the rebound, they score! Cameron Lowry with the Pan Port Hope Panthers first goal, 8.07 remaining. Seraphim down the left wing, the shot, he scores! Cash Seraphim tackled in celebration by Nolan Ferris on the far side. The goaltending solid on both sides, shot out front, they score! The pass by Seraphim from out beside the net. Looks like Tyler Harrison will get the goal a minute and 30 seconds into the third. 
Long shoot in, out to play it, leaves it for the defender is Calberry. Gervais on the left wing, cuts to the inside, takes the shot, the rebound, they score! The Port Hope Panthers tie the game at two. Harding plays it back to the end line, tied up. Hunt ties his man up in the corner, that's Harrison. Harrison had the go ahead, go, shot, they score! Quick shot, Harrison grabs it in behind the net, throws it out to the right side. Nolan Ferris makes no mistake, the high rising shot. B. Calberry over the right shoulder, stick side. Nolan Ferris with a go ahead goal with 123 to go in the third. And Harrison got the go ahead markers when they mattered, shot the rebound. How did that stay out? Port Hope coming close to tying it. Lagua just missing on the far side. A couple opportunities by air on the empty net, but the score remains at three to two. I just really like how they play. I don't really know. The Centennials are just killing them. It's teamwork, teamwork, passing, shooting, great players, Great players, great friends. Tonight in the Jack Burger Arena, it's the Empire B-League champion, Provo Panthers, uh, against the Midwestern Junior C champion, Air Centennials in Game 3 in the battle for the Schmaltz Cup. For Riley Clifford, who couldn't come up in the box, here come the Panthers to center, Golden Lawrence busting it on the left side. Lawrence with a shot, hit a leg, gets another chance and couldn't bang it in. Now McGill in front, he fires! What's going through your head in terms of us being a Schmaltz Cup champion? Are you starting to think about that? Yeah, it's just kind of a surreal feeling, you know. There's been a couple nights where I just lay in bed and think about what we're actually doing right now, and it's just amazing. So to have the opportunity to be able to do this is really nice. It's pretty easy when everybody does his own job, isn't it? Oh, no, 100%. That's how we got here, you know. we just been, everyone has a role on the team, and we stick to those roles, and, you know, we embrace it. So, yeah, it's all good. We're just going to keep doing that. 
I think that they've played their game and they haven't really gone and played anyone else's game but theirs. They've stuck together as a team. They've got each other's backs and they really gel well. They've caked that with every single game that they've played so far in the series, just like they have all year round. I think they're playing as a team really well. You know, they're passing the puck good. They're doing really good penalty kills, trying not to take as many penalties. Um, you know, just playing together as a team, not getting caught up in the other players, you know, ways. The Air Centennials can win their first Smoltz Cup tonight with a victory on home ice. The Air Centennials lead the best of seven Smoltz Cup final, three games to zero. Just two goals and 40 shots. Here's Clipper, the shot splits the legs, the rebound, the score! Clipper to the wing. I believe that was Cash Seraphim with the poke in. No, it's the number 16 forward, Quinn Diamond, the ex-Cambridge Winterhawk. Dalton Lawrence now calling for it on the near side. Ripped it off the left point, the shot, they score! Dalton Lawrence calls for it, goes back door on the near side. Right side defender, some standing all alone at the side of the net, Lawrence shooting low an offsetting air player on the other side mcgill will shot they score quick shot on the near side masterson on the far corner lacroix loses it but nay can do nothing with it for air as he was already going off Reeves gives it up to the backhand side. The shot, they score! Zach Masterson with his second. Angled to the backhand side. Beat Aaron Young in between the legs. The goaltender knocked down. Young knocked down by his own defender and nearly sliding it in. Masterson, far side, they score! Pettit, the shot from the left side of the blue line. Masterson on the far side. I think he's gonna get credit. Two air players on either side of the net. Maximum the Centennials played were five games against the Burford Bulldogs and Grimsby Peach Kings. McGill, the shot, open side of the net, the shot, they score, or no. Somehow, and a big brawl breaking out. 6.40 to go in the second, Serafimi scores! Cash Serafim, the hard shot off the draw. Seraphim on the right defense. The Centennials employing an extra forward on the right side. Five seconds remaining. The Air Centennials win their first Smalls Cup Junior C Championship. Just to come back to this and have this experience with the guys, no better team I'd rather do it with. And I, I am, I can't even talk right now, this is amazing. What a feeling to come together for through six rounds and uh, kind of dominate like we did, it's, it's quite the feeling. It's incredible, it's definitely undescribable being able to end my career like this. It's my, uh, it's my last year, so going out on top really, uh, really helps. I'd like to uh, throw a shout out to uh, the guys that brought this great group together. Uh, it goes down from the top, Jay Pert, Tim Barry, Cody Hall, Scott Eby but also the guys that were here before. Um, Andrew Richard, Anthony Puglia, Jeff Howlett, Eric Hackborn. They made a place to come that guys wanted to be here, having fun and uh, playing great hockey. We've had amazing community support here. Everybody in here loved the Sens and the Sens loved them back. So when, when this thing came through, it was, it was a win for everybody, for the whole town of Air and all the surrounding area.